The term godfather of AI is often used to refer to several individuals who have made significant contributions to the field of artificial intelligence. Some of the most commonly cited individuals include number one, John McCarthy. He is often credited with coining the term artificial intelligence in 1955 and was a pioneer in the development of the field. He was one of the founders of MIT AI Lab and made significant contributions to AI research throughout his career. Number two, Marvin Minsky. He was also one of the founders of the MIT AI Lab and made significant contributions to the field of artificial intelligence. He is particularly known for his work on artificial neural networks and the development of the frame concept, which has been used in natural language processing. Number three, Alan Turing. Although he did not work specifically on artificial intelligence, Turing is also and often considered a pioneer of computer science and a foundational figure in the development of AI. He is particularly known for his work on the Turing machine and his contributions to the development of the first electronic computers. And last, number four, Jeffrey Hinton who is a computer scientist and artificial intelligence researcher. He is widely regarded as one of the pioneers of deep learning. He was born in London, England in 1947 and earned his PhD in artificial intelligence from the University of Edinburgh in 1978. Hinton has spent much of his career working at the University of Toronto, where he is a professor emeritus and at Google Brain, where he is a distinguished researcher. Out of the four mentioned, only Jeffrey Hinton worked for Google. Hinton has made many significant contributions to the development of artificial intelligence and machine learning over the course of his career. He is particularly known for his work on artificial neural networks and deep learning, including the development of BAP propagation algorithms for training artificial neural networks, the development of Boltzmann machines and deep belief networks, and the co-invention of the BAP propagation algorithm for deep learning. His work has had a significant impact on many applications of AI, including image recognition, natural language processing, and Hinton has received many honors and awards for his contributions to the field of AI, including the Turing Award in 2018, which is often referred to as the Nobel Prize of Computing. He is also a fellow of the Royal Society and a foreign member of the U.S. National Academy of Engineering. Jeffrey Hinton has worked for Google since 2013. He is a distinguished researcher at Google Brain, which is Google's artificial intelligence research team. In his role at Google Brain, Hinton has continued his work on deep learning and neural networks and has made significant contributions to the development of artificial intelligence technologies at Google. Jeffrey Hinton was citing concerns over the flood of misinformation. The possibility for AI to append the job market and the existential risk posed by the creation of a true digital intelligence. Hinton, 75, said he quit to speak freely about the dangers of AI and in part regrets his contribution to the field. He was brought on by Google a decade ago to help develop the company's AI technology. And the approach he pioneered led the way for the current systems such as chat GPT. He told the New York Times that until last year, he believed Google had been a proper steward of the technology. But that changed once Microsoft started incorporating a chatbot into its Bing research engine. And the company 
began becoming concerned about the risk to its research business. Some of the dangers of AI chatbots were quite scary, he told the BBC. Warning they could become more intelligent than humans and could be exploited by bad actors. He says it's able to produce lots of text automatically so you can get lots of very effective spam bots. It will allow authoritarian leaders to manipulate their electorates, things like that." End quote. But he added he was also concerned about existential risk of what happens when these things get more intelligent than us. He is not alone in the upper echelon of AI research in fearing that the technology could pose serious harm to humanity. Last month, Elon Musk said he had fallen out with the Google co-founder, Larry Page, because Page was, quote, not taking AI safety seriously enough, end quote. Musk told Fox News that Page wanted, quote, digital superintelligence, basically a digital god, if you will, as soon as possible, end quote. Hinton's concern in the short term is something that has already become a reality. People will not be able to discern what is true anymore with AI-generated photos, videos, text flooding on the internet. Google's chief scientist Jeff Dean said in a statement that Google appreciated Hinton's contribution to the company over the past decade. I've deeply enjoyed our many conversation over the years. I'll miss him and I wish him well." End quote. Hinton's resignation follows a series of groundbreaking AI launches over the past six months, starting with Microsoft-backed OpenAI's ChatGPT in November and Google's own chatbot, Bard. Hinton is a highly respected figure in the field of artificial intelligence, and his work has had a significant impact on the development of deep learning and neural networks, among other areas. His concerns are definitely concerning for humanity, but does it serve a threat? Will this cause problems for everyone globally? And will this change the world as we know it? Only time will tell. But now you know why the godfather of AI left Google.